Capitalism is causing instability. The free market is making the rich richer and the poor poorer. There is already enough for everyone, but people are fueled by greed. A greed that will cause economic and social collapse. And to top it off, selfish human beings continue to cause climate catastrophes. Or so it would seem. Because of all this, some believe that now is not the time for growth, but degrowth. Degrowth is reducing GDP and increasing living standards at the same time. But the evidence suggests that we can't solve the world's problems by moving backwards, but by moving forwards. Some say we need to degrow to stop resource depletion, environmental degradation, and biodiversity loss. It's true that environmental pollution increases in the first stages of economic growth, but when higher level of incomes are reached, economic growth provides environmental improvement. Since 1975, the world's population has doubled and our resources have not been depleted. Since 1970, as the world became richer, half the animal populations have increased in number. The degrowth movement say we're rich enough already and more economic growth won't help us. Perhaps some are, but the rest of the world is not. Economic growth is crucial for addressing dire poverty in developing economies. It has helped lift over a billion people out of extreme poverty in East Asia. But what about inequality? The degrowth movement's emphasis on inequality often overlooks the positive impact of economic growth on poverty reduction in emerging economies. Wealthier societies are better positioned to address inequality. Perhaps the biggest argument for degrowth is to protect the planet. We need to degrow to stop climate change. Yet the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change does not advocate for degrowth. Advocating for degrowth to address climate change overlooks the role of climate change mitigation measures and technological advancements in tackling the challenges. So instead of advocating for degrowth, perhaps we should be striving to grow, to lift people out of poverty and protect ourselves from the volatile climate with new innovations and technologies. Certainly the world faces many threats, but degrowth is not the way to solve them.